Most micrographic surgery is a state-of-the-art skin cancer surgery that minimizes the surgical wound area while maximizing the likelihood of complete cancer removal, often in a single outpatient visit. Mohs surgery, developed by Dr. Frederick Mohs in the 1930s, is a highly precise technique. To begin with, the doctor removes the obvious cancerous tissue. Within a short period of time, a technician prepares a slide for the physician to view the edges of the removed tissue, and your doctor then examines that tissue sample to see if any cancerous tissue remains. If there is remaining cancer, your doctor notes its location and a second specimen of tissue is removed just in the area of remaining cancer in an effort to clear the margins. That newly removed tissue is examined for remaining cancer on its edges. The process is repeated until all cancerous tissue is removed and the maximum possible healthy tissue is retained. The nature of this skin cancer treatment can easily be visualized when you remove a bad spot on a potato. Here a small damaged portion of the potato is removed. A visual inspection shows a small dark spot remains. A second small portion is then removed, thus removing all the damaged area and preserving the most possible healthy tissue. The advantages of Mohs surgery are that it has a very high cure rate, low chance of cancer regrowth, spares the most healthy skin, minimizes scarring, and is a cost-effective outpatient procedure. This type of surgery has proven to be highly effective for the treatment of basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas. I had a very small dry patch for a, ve for a long time. And I made the procedure to, co you know, to come in the appointment and th the biopsy came back positive. Depending upon the type and location of the cancer and the surgery that's best for you, your doctor may recommend Mohs micrographic surgery. Mohs surgery is the treatment of choice when a skin cancer has irregular borders, is a very large size, um, is located in an area that has a high uh, recurrence rate such as the face um, or a tissue sparing area such as the hands or feet, fingers or toes. Mohs surgery is also indicated when someone um, has a deficient immune system or a skin cancer is recurrent. Um, these are usually the criteria for Mohs surgery. In most cases, Mohs surgery is an outpatient procedure. Normal post-surgical care is required for proper healing. Depending upon the size of the wound, healing will occur in several weeks to several months, but in rare cases it can take longer. Mohs surgery usually leaves the smallest scar possible. Sometimes in advanced cases, the Mohs surgeon will work with a plastic surgeon to keep the scarring as minimal as possible. And the last one we had before this one was on top of my head. Uh, and <clears throat> Dr. Flanagan just pulled it together and she's an excellent uh, sewer, I can say that. You, it, <clears throat> the scar will, I don't think I'll see it. To find a Mohs surgeon near you, go to mohsurgery.org.